It's very important to the process of understanding Google Cloud and pass the certification exam that you go through the question and attempt answering it yourself first. So pause the video, work through the question. We'll catch up in just a little while and I'll show you how I do it. In this project scenario, you're designing storage for CSV files and using an IO intensive custom Apache Spark transform as part of deploying a data pipeline on Google Cloud. You intend to use ANSYS SQL to run queries for your analysts. How should you transform the input data? The requirement is fairly straightforward, so let's analyze it a little more. We have to use an IO intensive custom Apache Spark transform. So this transform already exists and we will need to reuse this as part of our data processing pipeline within Google Cloud. So whatever solution we choose has to support Apache Spark. We also intend to use ANSI SQL. Therefore, our final data storage solution has to support SQL queries. The question is, how should you transform the input data? Any solution that supports both of the above would be good for us. Ideally, it should also be managed. Now, when you look at the options, you again see that there are groups of options. So A and B says we use BigQuery for storage, while C and D says use cloud storage. If we analyze it and understand which one suits this requirement, we'll be able to eliminate at least two of the options. Similarly, in the second part, the consideration is between data flow and data proc. Let us first look at storage. Should we use BigQuery or should we use cloud storage? The requirement, remember, is that we have to use ANSI SQL. So let's get to our trusted flowchart that lists out the various storage options that we have. So this is all the ones that have SQL as a part of it. These would be the ones to use when we have semi-structured or non-SQL data. And for unstructured data like files, then we would have either cloud storage or cloud file store. Now looking at our requirement, since we have to use ANSI SQL, the only block that will be useful for us is this set. And of course, because our considerations between cloud storage and BigQuery, we can stop right here because BigQuery is the only remaining choice. So cloud storage is an object storage. Right. It stores blobs, it stores files, and you cannot run SQL queries on it directly. There is a way to run federated queries from uh, BigQuery using cloud storage, but it is more work. And uh, of course, as a federated storage, it also supports CSV files, so it is possible to um, support it from BigQuery. But this is additional work when you can directly store it in BigQuery. Why would you use a slower option of a federated source, which is outside of BigQuery? BigQuery also supports ANSI SQL, and that's something we want. In general, if you have a data warehousing requirement and you need a tool for analytics, then BigQuery should be your first choice. It's highly scalable and very fast. So between BigQuery and cloud storage, our preference is for BigQuery. Therefore, we can eliminate option C and D, which recommend cloud storage. The second consideration that we need to have is between cloud data flow and cloud data proc. For that, let's look at this flowchart. Now, if we are doing a new project, completely new project, a greenfield requirement, and we want it to be serverless, which is fully managed, then cloud data flow should be our choice. If on the other hand, we are migrating an Apache Beam project, then also it should be cloud data flow. However, cloud data prop is the right choice when we are working with Hadoop or Spark jobs when we are lifting and shifting from on-prem or if we are migrating custom jobs, then cloud data proc should be our choice. 
that would be the managed version of Hadoop or Spark. So in this, since the requirement says we have to have custom Apache Spark transform, we have to use Cloud Data Proc. To summarize on this, Dataflow is a fully managed solution for data transformation. Hadoop and Spark can also do that. And if you are using either Hadoop or Spark, and you wanted to have a managed solution for it on Google Cloud, then Dataproc would be the best choice. If on the other hand, if you wanted to migrate Apache Beam jobs, then Cloud Dataflow would be a right choice. In our case, of course, it is a Apache Spark transform and therefore Cloud Dataproc would be the right option, which helps us retain B and D while eliminating options A and C. Combining the answers that we have right now, the combination of BigQuery and Dataproc would be the right solution for this requirement, which is answer or answer option B. All right. Now it's time for you to like, share, comment and subscribe. Go ahead. Do that right now because there's loads of great content coming up for learning Google Cloud and preparing for the certifications.